What's going on everyone? Behind me is our new dyno from Mainline. It's all set up now, but it wasn't easy getting here. This dyno came to us all the way from Australia and we are really, really excited to get it finally because it has been coming to us for a long, long time. It is not easy shipping this amount of equipment overseas. It was not easy unpacking this dyno. So a lot of work went into just getting this thing out of its packaging when it first arrived to us. It is a four wheel drive, Pro Hub Dyno capable of holding up to 4,600 wheel horsepower and we are super excited to get it. In this video, we are gonna be showing you how we set the dyno up on a car and also going through all of the cool features on this dyno along with explaining why we chose this particular dyno over some of the other hub dyno options out there. The dyno comes with a number of hub adapters that use the original wheel studs or wheel bolts to attach to the car. The adapters can then be used to secure the car's hub to the dyno and can accommodate large amounts of camber and caster. So no matter what suspension setup you have on the car, this dyno is made to be able to handle it. What's up everybody, it's Chris here, owner and founder of Toge Tuning, and I'm really excited to present our all new mainline Pro Hub all-wheel drive dyno, which is the first in Canada, um, and there's very few of them actually in North America and around the world at this point. Um, it's a relatively new uh, system. The all-wheel drive uh, setup is new. The two-wheel drive system has been around for a little bit. Some of the reasons that we chose to go with a mainline uh, Pro Hub Dyno over a roller dyno or another hub dyno um, is because it kind of combines the best of both worlds. You have an eddy current power absorption module in each pod, which basically is the, the same technology that's used in a roller dyno. Uh, very accurate, can uh, handle a ton of horsepower and torque, but it combines that with the safety aspect of a hub dyno. You don't have to worry about tires slipping, the cars, the straps breaking, or anything like that. The vehicle is essentially attached to the pods and there's no risk of damage or any catastrophic failure. The rear wheel drive or two wheel drive setup on this dyno can handle 3,000 horsepower and over 4,000 newton meters of torque and the all wheel drive setup can handle 4,600 horsepower and upwards of uh, 8,000 newton meters of torque. So there's very few vehicles that will uh, not be able to be operated on this dyno accurately. We're really excited to have this new piece of equipment at Toge Tuning. We've been offering dyno tuning services for a long time, um, but this will allow us to um, have a bit more control over the process. Most vehicles on the road today can be upgraded or tuned uh, without you actually knowing that anything has changed outside of the fact that the vehicle will perform better. And this piece of equipment allows us to show you before and after. The consistency back to back is uh, really unmatched um, with a roller dyno and strapping it down, depending on how loose or tight you strap it down can invariably change how much horsepower the dynamometer reads. If you go from a 45 sidewall tire to a 30 sidewall tire, it will also change the reading. Having a hub dyno, you eliminate all of those uh, variances. You're not strapping it down. There's no, there's no um, looser, or tighter, or different. The we we're taking the wheels out of the equation. Um, so essentially we could load this car on, dyno it, take it off, put it back on, and the numbers are probably gonna be within uh, less than 1% easily. All right, and here we have the uh, essentially the brains of the operation over here. This is our uh, tuning station. So we have dual monitors up here. We have a map sensor, weather station to accurately uh, adjust for the temperature, humidity, everything that's inside. Um, tachometer hookup, 
wideband, uh, our lambda sensor, and we also have a ton of other inputs that we can use with this system that we don't have set up uh, because typically most vehicles don't require them. We can also hook directly up through via CAN into um, almost all standalone engine management systems and we can actually um, use the dyno to program the uh, the ECU to different load points we can set boost for maximum brake torque air fuel ratio ignition timing um, so there's a ton of features within this um, I'll just load up the dyno software so you can kind of get a glimpse of what it looks like so this is our the starting screen um, essentially we can control the fan um, the AFR heater and this tells us all of the information regarding wheel speed and stuff like that. Um, this is where we would do our steady state tuning. Um, and then we can also go into our ramp tests or what most people refer to as dyno pulls. There's a ton of features within this software um, and we're pretty much unlimited in the ability for us to accurately control and set up the system for each vehicle. Without further delay, let's see this thing in action. For more information on our dyno and how you can book with us, head over to togetuning.com. And if you like this video and want to see more dyno content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button.